year. Overall, at Destrahan, he's had a couple of different stints there, and they've been awfully good. He won back-to-back -back state championships in 5A in 2007 and 2008 with the Wildcats, and this year, having another special season. Destrahan is 7-0 after a 37-3 win over Central Lafouche this past Friday night. Ranked third in the state in our SportsNova.com top 10 poll. We give them more credit than the sports writers do. Destrahan visits South Lafouche this Friday night. Please give a warm quarterback club welcome to Coach Steve Robichaud of the Destrahan Broncos.
Number one reason why we're having success this year is good players. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I don't have the magic answer. You know, the, the number one thing is you gotta have players, and it starts with your quarterback. You know, we have six foot five, 235 pound quarterback that can run, can throw. He's throwing for over 1,500 yards, 23 touchdowns, and one interception. That guy from Thibodeau made a heck of a play, bouncing the ball up to himself to, to, to make the interception. And he's also run for 200 yards and two touchdowns. So he's phenomenal as far as when he gets out of the pocket, he can go. We have a little zone read scheme that allows him to get out on the safeties. And believe me, those safeties don't like 6'5", 240 coming at him. So he's done a tremendous job for us. And the stats I'm telling you about right now, they had, we played one full game. You know, they've been out in the second, third quarter in some games. So uh, it's really, he's having a phenomenal year. Uh, our, our running back has done a, a great job for us also, a kid named uh, Will Matthew. He's got over 700 yards rushing, over 200 yards in uh, receiving yards. So he's, a, he's doing a great job, uh, he's over 14 touchdowns. He is the key to keep us going. You know, we are this old spread offense, the old Tulane, Rich Rodriguez. You know, we're going to spread you out to run the football. And we got to be able to run the ball to be successful. And he's done that, and he's been great for us. So it's been a, uh, that's what allows us to have a lot of success. Our receiving course, I'm going to say this, and it kind of, you know, I already talked to uh, uh, Tim Bowden and uh, Namaris Johnson. But as a group, this might be the best group we ever had. Now, I know in 07, Tim and Damaris were tremendous, and they, and they played tremendously well. But as a group, if you look at the stats, they're all right around 20 catches, they're all around 400 yards, and two of them got six touchdowns, two of them have five touchdowns. I mean, it's just a tremendous, tremendous effort. Uh, we get excited when people try to play us man because, you know, your third best got to got to cover pretty good receivers. So. Uh, uh, it, it's a situation that, that we've been fortunate to have real good, real good players. Uh, Alfred Smith, Kurt Merritt has already been offered the juniors. They've been D1 offers already. John Williams and Southmore and Tremaine Armstrong is also a Southmore. They got real good players also. Uh, you know, you can't do anything unless your offensive line is playing well. And I think that's a big plus for us this year also. That was a big question mark coming up for us, coming through the spring. But I'm gonna tell you what happened. We moved the kid over. He's uh, six foot uh, three, 320 pounds sophomore. Moved him over. He's playing pretty good for us, Gerald Wilbon, uh, and it kind of allowed it for us where our two seniors happen to not be able to be starters this year. So now we brought guys in. They're playing at a high level. Just amazing at what they've been able to do, and I just think that's a big positive for our offense. Defense, it, it's it's you know some things had to happen for us to be pretty good. And uh, one of them was the one about defensive linemen. We got a senior who's a hard-nosed kid that plays tough, really good player. Uh, we had a junior that's, that's a, a nose tackle, that's 270 pounds that plays well. But we got a kid, you might want to write this name down, Lynn Logan, who is unbelievable. He's six foot four, 290 pounds, and he's skinny. Uh, he's going to be a player, and I, I, my prediction is we had a Darrell Richards, and we had Chaz Washington, those type of players. He would be the best defensive lineman ever to come out of that straight. He is. He, he, is, he, he does stuff at Southmore that I've ever, the better that I've ever seen anybody do. Just a, just a great player, and uh, he's gonna, his, his upside is tremendous. Uh, he's already got an offer from uh, Louisiana Tech, so uh, he, he's going to be a good, great player. But the guy that makes us go is our linebacker, inside linebacker, Rajon Marbley. He's a guy that's uh, committed to Tulane. He's already got over 60 tackles, 13 for loss, two interceptions, one for a touchdown, and uh, he's just all over the field. You know, those big guys up front allow him to run, and I tell you what, Tulane's got a heck of a player. He, he makes us go. Uh, he's just a tremendous person and a tremendous athlete. I mean, Tulane's getting a great guy. And the guy next to him, Malcolm Darnberg, is also a senior. Does a tremendous job for us. They, they, they're doing a great job and making plays all over the field. Uh, secondary is a, is, a, is a, they played as sophomores last year, all but one. Uh, three of them were sophomores, and now they're playing like juniors, so they're doing a great job for us. So. So we're excited at Destrehan. We think that uh, that uh, we have a good football team. I don't know how good we are. Uh, uh, even Mr. Trahan says, you know, compare this with the 2017. I, I don't know if that's a fair question because, you know, 2007, that team was special. I, I think the difference between that one and, and this one is our offensive line in 2007 was ridiculous. You know, we had a couple of college guys on that offensive line, and, uh, and then that, they made us go. But, uh, you know, these guys are good. They work hard. They do what we're supposed to do. Uh, the big question that I have in comparing the two is the experience. You know, this team has never been in the playoffs. 
you know, what do you do when you have to look the ball, Katie Anna, those type of teams, if you happen to make the playoffs and get it done. So, you know, uh, that's one of the big questions I have right now is, is how good can this team be? How good can we uh, travel? And uh, the big experience, no having the experience of the uh, playoff uh, games is a big factor for us. Uh, that's all I got, unless you guys got some questions. I know we have a lot of referees out there, and guys, come see me Monday through Thursday, because Friday I know I'm an idiot, but uh, <laughs> I'm a really nice guy on Monday through Thursday, so if you come by and say hello, it'd be great. So. Raise your hand if you have a question. Raise your hand. Coach, I know your quarterback is committed to, is it Utah? Yes, sir. He's committed to Utah. He's been, uh, they came down this summer and uh, got him to go up to Utah, and, and the Coach Johnson promised me, he said, you know what, if he gets off the flight at Utah, it's just a beautiful place. He said he'll come in. Sure enough, he did. Okay, he did. so he did get some offers in state, and he didn't he, want to get out of state. Is that he got a few offers in the state, uh, but uh, Utah was the biggest one he had, and uh, and he's such a humble kid, a down to earth kid. He wanted to commit before the season to get that over with, so he can concentrate on death and football. And uh, Utah was the best offer he had on the table at the time, and he went ahead and committed. Well, he's a good player. Good player. Thank you, yes, sir. Raise your hand. Question. Everybody, back back there. Alfred Smith, is he related to the Fred Smith that, that played? You know, he, he's not. Alfred's not. Uh, Alfred's a great player for us. Uh, but his, we have a Tremaine Smith, a number two that's a sophomore that's a pretty good player. He's related to Fred. Obviously, you guys know Fred from his Tulane days here at, uh, at Tulane. So, but uh, but he is a, he's a younger uh, nephew of Fred. So uh, so we do have some of that Smith blood still coming through, and that's a good thing for Dexter in high school. Coach, do you have a commitment to Tulane University right now on the defensive side? Yeah, Rajon Marvin, my inside linebacker. Great player, he's a wrestler. He does the great things, uh, uh, just a phenomenal kid, works hard. Uh, you know, his, his body doesn't look like mine, it's a total different. Uh, he, he just, uh, he's just a kid that works hard and he'll, he'll, he'll do Tulane proud. Thank you all very much.